A growing number of companies is seeking to offer family-friendly support to better address the country's alarming birth rate. Our correspondent Yi Su Jin covers the broad campaign. I think all working moms can agree that one of the toughest situations is having to go to work even when your child suddenly falls ill. It's a struggle that working parents across the world grapple with. And it often deters people from starting a family, which is why firms like this bank have built daycare centers for their employees as part of efforts to improve the work-life balance for working parents. Yi Hyun drops off her three-year-old son at the daycare each day at around 8 a.m. and picks him up after work. And because it's a corporate daycare center, she's not the only parent who does so. At other daycare centers, most children get picked up by 4 p.m., so I would worry about my son being there alone, but now knowing there are many other children, I worry less and can focus better on my work. The centers also have programs using educational puzzles and games to teach children social skills and basic concepts in language and math. They also plan to hold open houses after work hours and during weekends to give parents insight into their children's progress. And such daycare centers will soon be open to other working parents. Starting March next year, employees from small and medium-sized companies will also be able to send their children here. This just adds to efforts already undertaken by SMEs as this make a company introduce flexible working hours for its employees in January 2022. Managed entirely online, the system allows employees to choose their daily work hours as long as they complete the required monthly schedule of around 177 hours. These days, pediatric clinics are so crowded that you have to start queuing as early as 5 a.m. But because I was able to adjust my work hours, I was able to take my child to the hospital. Kim Sormi, whose son is 23 months old, says that this has enhanced her work-life balance. The hardest part is being at work when your kid is at home sick because you just worry about them. But having control over my work hours has been a huge help. The company says the number of births and marriages has tripled since they first implemented the flexible working hour system, showing a policy supporting a good work-life balance for working moms like Ian Kim can help Korea address its low birth rate. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.